Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to share with you my Goldfine Barbarian build and uh, go over stats, skills, and gear, and then do a, a little Trav run. Um, so basically the concept of this character is go finding gold, using that gold to, to mostly gamble. Um, but on top of that, you find a lot of uh, magic items too, and, and potentially runes. Uh, less efficient with runes than a lot of other builds, but it's it's pretty well rounded. But the primary emphasis of the build is gold finding, uh, and it does it pretty well. Um, so why don't we start off uh, with the stats? Stats are s super simple. Uh, basically, you just want enough uh, stat you know for your gear. I'm using a phase blade, um, an etnax. I'll, I'll get into why I'm using that etnax in a second. But 145 for that axe, 136 dex for the phase blade. And then it's just max vitality, plenty of life um, to really fit the needs of the build. Um, looking over at the skills, pretty straightforward. Um, there's a lot of flexibility in terms of what you exactly you want to emphasize, but um, you're going to use Berserk with this Goldfine Barb, max that out. In combat masteries, um, I have maybe 12 or 11 hard points into Sword Mastery. Uh, you don't really need to max this out for the attack rating, uh, but you do get some damage. Uh, one point into speed, and I have how many hard points? Maybe 12 hard points into natural resistance, basically just enough to kind of get my resistances to where I want. And then also, you end up approaching that diminishing returns thing. Uh, you're not really getting as much resistance with each hard point you're putting in there, so whatever kind of gets you to your your target. And then after that, with your remaining points, you definitely want find item. Similar to natural resistance, I I put, uh, let's see, I think 10, 10 hard points in this. And once again, getting up to that diminishing returns like cutoff, which is around 50% chance um, on find item. Uh, and lastly, max battle orders, and then all my remaining points go into shout. Uh, you get defense, uh, that's not really relevant in, in this build, because you are using Berserk, which negates all your defense, but you do get um, that 10% damage per level uh, for each hard point into Shout via the synergies. So, pretty pretty straightforward build. Uh, so there's some flexibility, I'm sure some people might have some critiques how to uh, better maximize it. Uh, but let's get to the gear, and we'll actually start with the Mercenary. So this Mercenary, um, it's it's not the best build, um, but it's pretty solid. Uh, I have found one Ethereal Reaper's Toll, and put a Shale in it to help reach uh, breakpoints. I'm actually not even sure if I'm hitting like an optimal breakpoint right now. Typically I do use a Treachery uh, with some of the, my Barbarian builds, but with this Goldfine build, I need uh, a Cannot Be Frozen. So obviously Reaper's Toll is kind of self-explanatory. I'm not stacking gold find on this mercenary because I think I have enough um, already. So that Reaper's Toll is really just to put out ridiculous amounts of damage and then Decrepify, which is going to boost my damage a ton. Uh, Durio Shell, uh, I put a 15% uh, faster uh, attack speed jewel in it. And, you know, good res, good defense, cannot be frozen. Uh, that's really the reason I'm using it right now over like a Treachery or something else. I have an Andes with a Rel. Uh, I You know, you could put a Cham... Like Cham Vigays, Cham Andes, but I don't want to use my Cham runes uh, just for cannot be frozen on a mercenary. Uh, so that's a mercenary. And then looking at my gear, uh, main hand is going to be a Grief. Good, pretty good roll at 390, 31% attack speed. Uh, you, you could use a, other items here, I think it's fine. You know, think something with gold find on it would be cool. Um, you know, like I said, the mercenary is really doing most of the work, and your weapon doesn't need to be that good to be putting out big damage on players one when that decrepify is, is up. Uh, but obviously, grief is is for the kill speed, and then something a little interesting here I think is using a five times lemmed rune master. Uh, I'm not double swinging. I'm not even using this weapon at all. Uh, the reason I chose rune master is because it has cannot be frozen on it, and I I don't want to cham my helmet. I don't want to waste uh, a ring slot with a raven frost <clears throat> and, or you know choose a belt that has it. So basically long story short, you could do a six 
times lem to like crystal sword or something like that. Um, but I'm sacrificing that incremental bit of gold find for that cannot be frozen. Um, so that's kind of the explanation there. Uh, wealth, uh, it's it's kind of I think it's I think it's the highest gold find armor in the game that you can get. So that's kind of self-explanatory. Also, 100% magic find. So if you aren't if you don't if you have a build and you're trying to maximize you know gold find magic find, um, and you and you can be fine giving up all the benefits of other armors, then wealth is pretty good. Could use Enigma. That would be fine. Um, but the t extra teleporting speed to get from the waypoint to Trev, which I'll show you soon. Yeah, I mean, it's going to increase your efficiency quite a bit, but I don't have any cast rate, faster cast rate. So, And also, I'm trying to do more builds that don't rely on Enigma that can still be like efficient farmers. And then on my Switch, I'll show you why um, Enigma might actually not be that much more efficient. So, Helmet is going to be IK with uh, two limbs. And obviously, you get some good base magic find on it. You get a Warcry buff, and then you get uh, some good gold find. So, pretty solid choice. Not necessarily the best, um, but I think fits very nicely. Uh, this is just a rare amulet I found. So 1 to Barbarian skills, 55 to life, 19 all res, and 65% gold find. I think the max on an amulet is like 80% or something. So all things considered, this is a pretty darn good amulet. Uh, it fits the build really nice. Obviously, it's not close to like a trophy, but it's a pretty good find. Um, I'm actually not sure what else I'd use if I didn't have this, but... I mean, you could use anything, really, a High Lords or... Um, a cat's eye for the run walk and the attack speed would probably make the build more efficient. Um, then I got dual door star for obvious reasons. Um, you have the 100% gold find on each, and then I have um, the fire absorb, which is super useful um, in Trav. Gold wrap is the belt, get some attack speed, get 30% MF, 80% gold find. Chance guards, 38% magic find, ton of gold find on those. And then Inferno Strides. I think I've some, found some rare boots with Gold Find. But I, I just like your Inferno Stride. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, especially with that maximum fire resist. That's always good. And then the actual fire res. Faster run walk. Really good Gold Finding boots. Um, and then on Switch, I have a double lemmed Alibaba. And then what should be a double lemmed Alibaba, but is actually just um, has some like crappy magic finding jewels in it. You could do a double ist and get a little more MF on the build. That's fine. Uh, but like what I was saying before, if you were to do like Enigma on this build, you're giving up like 300% gold find and getting about 90% MF back. So that kind of nets out. But okay, you're teleporting there faster. Um, and then you'd probably want like two wizard spikes or like suicide branch or something like that um, on switch. But what you'll see in the run is when I do find item, and I switch to these, I get a lot more um, gold find and magic finds. So that, you know, there's kind of a trade-off there in terms of switch and, and, uh, and options. Uh, look at my inventory. I have a Geeds, 37%, 127% gold find. I think I have a better one of these lying around. I could probably swap out. I have 30% MF with some mana. Or 30% gold find, rather. I have one to Masteries, 40% Gold Find Skiller, 37% Gold Find, and then a bunch of just like random Gold Finding, Magic Finding, Resistant, Small Charm, so 9, 10, 9, 8, 7 Lightning Res, 10, 10, 2 mana, 20 to Life, 10 Cold Res, uh, Small Charm, that's pretty good, Small Charm, 8%, a little Attack Rating, 8%, so on and so forth, you know, I got some All Res, a couple more 10% All Res, and all that, and then I got 1614 Annie, 1720 B Torch, and that that's the gear. Uh, looking at some of my stats here, you get, those are my resistances, and then I have 260 MF and 1772 Gold Fine, so that's that's quite a lot. And then on Switch, I go all the way up to 460 MF and 2000 Gold Fine, and. Why don't we jump right into a run? I'll demonstrate the build. So I go to Trev, 
BO. Run relatively fast. Uh, once I get here, I'm actually going to go under here to get my mercenary to be with me. So he doesn't get stuck trying to get through that little door. Um, sometimes I use potions, you know, I got mana potions in my bar. Uh, just in case I get like mana burned from some of these guys. And you can see they go down pretty quick. Especially when that decrepit uh, is proccing. Alright, and they're all dead. Switch to this. And then just keep doing find item. So let's see how much gold I actually get this run. So let me put this in my stash. Um, and then sometimes I just spam like this. It's kind of faster to pick up the gold. So that was 340k. Uh, I'd say that's on the lower side per run. Um, I'll do one more. And we'll see how lucky we get. Typically it's anywhere between like 200,000 to... Sometimes even 900,000 per run. Uh, one thing you could do after a run is t uh, Town Portal and then go to a different act, like Act 4. And then when you come back in game, you don't have to run as far. You might save like a second or two per run. Alright, so do that. Get these guys down. Sometimes they can roll pretty nasty with like a, a conviction or something like that, or a holy freeze is no good. Uh, but the build does pretty well against all that. So just kind of spam your your find item. Yeah, this was a pretty weak run as far as gold. Um, just kind of how the RNG goes out. You know, 270k. Yeah, like I said, this probably averages, or it's um, yeah 320. So similar to last time, it probably averages more, somewhere in the 400s per run. So two, run, two runs to max out your inventory in gold on average before you have to put it into stash. But like I said, it's not only a gold finding barb. You're going to find, you know, tons and tons of charms, flawless gems. Um, runes is okay, uh, but, you know, unique rings and, and so forth. I mean, all the things that Trav in Hell can, uh, can drop. So that's the build. Um, I don't run this anywhere else. Uh, there might be somewhere that I'm not aware of where it could run well. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a pretty good, um, efficient farmer, and it mixes up from some other, like, more standard builds. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.